Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. It used to be that the Pebble was the only smartwatch of note on the scene. Well, that's not the case anymore. We're here at Berlin 2013 IFA. This is the Samsung Galaxy Gear, and we're going to check it out. So guys, this is the Samsung Galaxy Gear, and one of the first things you'll notice, probably on film, uh, first of all, this it might be this glinting stainless steel, which feels really, really nice in person. The second thing you might notice is the thing that kind of we all noticed, uh, was that it looks kind of big. It looks ungainly, it looks heavy, it, it might look a little clunky to you. That's how it looked to us on this giant screen here at the event. But you wear this thing, you get it on your wrist in person, it actually feels quite nice. I don't have the weight off the top of my head, but it is not much heavier on the wrist than the Pebble is. And there's that screen pop into life there. This is a, um, I believe it's 320 by 320 display. There's the only button on the device is a side key there. You use to wake it up. You have obviously the time. You can double tap the screen with two fingers for a uh, more detailed status of whether Bluetooth is on, your battery level, things like that, the date. And you've got these shortcuts here. Now one of the cool things we'll jump into, uh, this is called the it's not the memo maker, it's the, it's just called the, the, the memo grapher, or the memographer, if you, if you will. Uh, and it is just a, ca it's a camera built in here. It's capable of shooting 720 video. It's positioned so that you can, you know, you have your, your wrist here and you're just pointing at stuff. Oh, oh, cool, what's going on over there? You tap, it adjusts. Well, it's in video mode right now. It'll shoot up to 10 seconds of video and it will sync to your Galaxy Note 3 or your other Galaxy, the Samsung Galaxy device, dump them right to the, uh, right to the device. I'm just gonna try and get out of the uh, options here. Back is a simple swipe down from the top bezel. Sorry, guys, I'm still learning the interface here. There's a snap. You want to take a still, you just tap, it focuses, and takes the shot. You go back. You can always return to the home screen from the side button here, but the rest of the, the interface is all gesture-based. You can reach your contacts, check out your call logs, all this obviously coming from the phone, or you have a certain amount of apps. Third-party applications can be written for the, uh, for the Galaxy Gear. These are some samples loaded on here as well. You see some familiar titles like Evernote in there as well as obviously the more common things like the dialer, Samsung's chat on line. You can read them yourself. You don't need a, need a narrator, but quite a few. And the exciting thing being, of course, that third-party developers can build more. So let's go back and just swipe over once more. There's just settings to control. This obviously links via Bluetooth with your smart device. So a much more feature uh, heavy and uh, feature centric smartwatch than others we've seen on the market. Uh, this will become available in uh, October uh, to anyone who would like to buy one. Uh, we will have some more details and possibly a direct comparison with the Pebble at the head. And finally, uh, one of the few things that, that sets it off, or excuse me, one of the other primary things that sets it off is that you can make and take calls. You don't just initiate calls, you can make and take calls from the device. There's a microphone down here, speakerphone in this unit here. You just bring your hand up to your head like this and it's just wonderful. I actually don't know that. I haven't taken a call yet, but it feels wonderful. Anyway, Michael Fisher with the Samsung Galaxy Gear here at IFA 2013 in Berlin. Tony behind the camera. It's a pretty cool device. We're going to check it out some more. Stay tuned for more from Pocket Now. Thanks for watching.